looking at some basic functions on the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator. The on button is on the upper right. We're going to start with a fraction key which is in the leftmost column. To use this we simply type the numerator, hit the fraction key, then the denominator. This probably is the easiest way to use the button. Just make sure you use the arrow buttons to move the cursor when you're done in the denominator. Another way you can use the fraction key is to hit that button first. Your cursor will appear in the numerator, which you can then enter. You will need to press the down arrow to move the cursor to the denominator to enter the value there. Again, remember to press the over button when you are finished with a fraction. Sometimes your answer will show as a fraction, and you may want it in decimal form. Using the SD button, you can switch the way the calculator displays your answer. Next, we are going to look at the exponent button. This button allows you to add an exponent to any number. For instance, you can get the standard form of 10 to the fourth by entering 10, exponent button 4, and enter. The readout will give you 10,000. You can also just hit the exponent button first, then enter your base number, the over arrow, and then put in your exponent. Sometimes you may need a negative exponent. Make sure to use this button in the left-hand column for a negative exponent. Do not use the minus sign. Now you can enter 10 to the negative 4, which will give you a number less than 1. Again, you can switch from fraction to decimal with the SD button. Now let's look at numbers in scientific notation. Let's say you have 5 times 10 to the negative 2 and want to see it in standard notation. Just enter the value, press equal, and if it shows you a fraction, press the SD button to get the decimal form. Another way to get scientific notation is to use the times 10 button in the bottom row of the calculator. With this button, all you have to do is enter the exponent. In this case, I enter 5, the times 10 button, then the negative 2. If I hit equal, it again shows me the value as a fraction, and I hit the SD button to switch it to standard notation decimal value. Here is another example of entering a number in scientific notation. I enter in the value 2.53. In this case, I chose to hit the times button, enter 10, then the exponent button. I enter in the exponent, press equal, and then I use the SD button to get the answer in standard form, 0.0253. But let's say I'm starting with that value and I want to convert it into scientific notation. First I hit shift, then the mode setup, then I choose option 7 for science, for scientific notation. In this case I have three significant figures, so I hit 3. Now I can enter that same value, 0 0.0253 equal, and I'm going to hit the SD button, and there it gives it to me in scientific notation. That's how you turn standard to scientific notation. You need to know how many sig figs you have. So again, in this case, I have three sig figs, which is why I chose three. Now if I enter in a different value, 0 0.4789, that has four sig figs. Again, I'm going to go shift mode, pick seven for scientific. In this case, I'm hitting four for four sig figs, enter. And there it gives me that same value from standard notation into the proper scientific notation. When you're done with scientific notation, hit shift mode setup, then you need to choose the number 8 for norm, so hit 8, and then choose the number 2 to put it back into the recommended mode for this class. Alright, let's try some problems. Pause the video and write down this value. This is uh, something you'll see in the class. Now you're going to enter in the first number 2.53 times. You can use the fraction button 1 over the 423.65 and then hit equal to get your answer. Again, we're going to want the answer in decimal form, so hit that SD button. But you'll want to record your answer to the correct amount of significant figures, so you're going to need to put your calculator into the scientific figure mode again. So I have three sig figs with my first number, five sig figs with my second. I had already hit the shift button, now I hit the mode setup, seven for scientific notation. I know that I need three sig figs with this answer. I hit equals again, SD, and there we go. Now my answer is in scientific notation with the proper amount of sig figs recorded. So that's how you're gonna get your answer, uh, what you wanna record, what you wanna write down anytime we do problems like this. 
Now here's another example. So pause and write this number down. We're going to enter in the 303. We're going to use that times 10 with the exponent button already built in, so we can just hit that negative 2 or negative 3 times a new fraction, 1 over 6.022. Again, that times 10 with the exponent button to the 23. Hit equal. And I had still left it, I didn't change the mode from last time, so that's why it's still giving me three sig figs in the answer there. So you want to just make sure that's why you want to clear it in between each use. I'm just going through that same problem again, but instead of using the times 10 button at the bottom, I'm using the exponent button higher up on the calculator. Remember when you use that exponent button higher up on the calculator, you want to make sure that you're using the arrow keys to hit over. So here I hit 10 and I hit that exponent button, 23. I need to hit the over key before I enter in anything else or before I hit equal. And there is my answer. Again, it is showing with three sig figs because I had left it in the three sig fig mode. Remember to turn it back into normal mode like I showed earlier, and most importantly, make sure to practice. You need to do this over and over again until you don't have to think about it.